Morning guys, it is Thursday the 11th of April. I am off to the doctors and a bit of shopping with my mum. We're going to go to Denelms and then my mother's got a foot appointment in the afternoon. So I'm going to be out for quite a while. So I thought I would make some breakfast. Now I was going to have strawberries and mango, but I peeled what looked like an absolutely beautiful mango. And that is what greeted me inside so it's literally like that all over i got about four tiny little chunks out of it so that's going to be going in to bin which is a shame um i have got banana strawberries and that tiny little bit of mango in there which is all zero count i've got fat-free greek yogurt which again is zero count i thought i'd jazz it up a bit with some billionaire chocolate chip mix I have got 97 calories worth in there, which is 20 grams. So that is my breakfast and I will catch up with you in the next clip, guys. We're at the doctor's and I am my <laughs> mother's daughter. We got the wrong day. It's tomorrow, not today. I prepped me mother for the doctor's and to have her feet done today. <laughs> and it's not even today. And she's like, are you going back to? I think I am. Honestly. All my feet was down for today as well. In my diary, yeah. So just check the email to say, we better just check before we go into Cardiff that it is actually today. And that's tomorrow as well. So both appointments are for tomorrow, the same times. We're just a day early. Unless they are in the diary for tomorrow and I just assumed it was today because I didn't look properly. What are we going to do now then, Mother? It's quarter to twelve. Do you want to go somewhere for lunch? Yes, do you want to go and have a look round the Nelms? Yeah, we we'll go round the Nelms and we can, perhaps we can get a snack in there. And then I want to go to Tesco to get Warren a salad because I'm going on a last minute bingo trip with Michelle. Her boyfriend's out tonight, so as I said to Warren, do you mind if I go bingo tonight? And he's like, no worries. Does she live with her boyfriend then? Yeah, she has done for years. So you know, I was asleep in the chair when Warren come down this morning and my electric blanket's gone missing and he said, I bet Mackenzie's taken it. And he said, oh, you want to wash that? <laughs> you want to wash that, he said, oh. <laughs> if you have it back. Teenage boy, you know. And I was like, oh, and then I drifted back off to sleep and I had a dream that he'd come down and he hadn't tidied his bedroom and Warren had to go at him and he called me a prick. And then Warren had him by the throat and give him a black eye. <laughs> and I woke up thinking, what? Obviously that would never happen. But well, sometimes we could quite easily give that kid a black eye. Well, what, what's, what's it He's taking my electric blanket. It's washable, thank God. But you know he's got a typical boy's bedroom when you open the door and the smell hits you in the face of oh boys. God. Yeah, so... But well, what's he messing about at? Is he well, applying he's just, for um, college or...? Yeah, he's applying to go on a course in September. I got paid for it, I think. I think he's going to do it um, tomorrow when his dad's home. Well, is he, is he going to gain anything from this course? Yeah. Oh, that's a big pothole. Oh, that's a well. That's a long time for him. That, look, how are you supposed to get in that car there? Well, there's staff probably. Not even not, not somebody who weighed two life. stone would get into there. Parking shocking up at this doctor's. I mean, so he should down. be doing a job or something. This lying about in bed, it, it's ridiculous. I know, Mum. It's encouraging them. He wants to get up and find I know. He, he needs a good kick up the backside. But Warren's like, oh, just leave him after some time off, he said, until he starts in September. <laughs> Easy. Like, oh, I've got to pick him up. Um, he gave me some money to get him a Xbox card for £25. So I've got to pick that up. Although well, they didn't have it in Tesco's yesterday, so... Whether they've got any today, I don't know. It's bin day today, there's loads of bin lorries everywhere. So, what 
do you fancy for lunch then? Hmm? Sold. Sold. Oh. Yes, that's a house sold over there. What do you fancy for lunch? These are quite nice, these houses, although I wouldn't want to live on the main road. Um, that one's sold. They seem to sell quick along here. We could go to Tesco's cafe. We could go, there's a cafe in Denelms, though I don't think you'll get. Um, well, uh, I think there's a small cup of tea and. Cup of tea and a tea cake. Yeah. I think you can get like toasted sandwiches and stuff. The place I'm going tonight is Castle Bingo and they do really nice salads. Where's that? Down in Forest. So I'll yeah. be having um Why salad. don't you go there for bingo then then go all the way to Because it's mega expensive compared to the other one, but oh, I see. we're just gonna go to that one tonight. And the houses aren't much um cop. It's like a hundred pound house where the other place is like 300 so this is still cars it always is it closes down and then reopens again because they're avoiding tax aren't they avoiding the tax man Indian takeaway. No good avoiding the tax man. Even I have to pay tax. Well, it never opened up again, and it's got the shutters down. Uh, what? That Indian takeaway didn't not open up again, or is it? Well, it's got shutters. It opened up brand new, and then all the men got arrested for yeah. messing about with underage girls. It was in the newspaper, so it closed down again and was reopened with totally new people. Apparently it's nice in there, but you wouldn't like it. It's Indian food. You're not a fan oh, of Indian still, food. It's probably too early to be open. So it looks as if it's shut. Oh yeah, it'll be shut now. It's only quarter to 12. Opens in the night. Used to be a chip shop. Remember? Yeah. I think I went there once for chips. We like going to Sing's Fish Bar. good one. The bloke in there is really nice. Diversion. I could have stopped at the tip and put these clothes in the clothes bin but can't be asked. I'll wait for Dexter to be with me. We'll travel around with them with them in the back seat. What's that? I've got some clothes I've um, sorted out that I going to take, I can't be asked for cash for clothes, they give you absolutely jack shit for it, and then if there's anything of mine in there, they take it out and they take the piss, well they don't take the piss, but they just say these clothes are going to Africa or wherever they're going, what are they supposed to do with this, just because they've got like a size 30 top or something in there, so I just joke about it and say well they can make a, make a tent out of it, you know, ha ha, piss off, give me the stuff back. I can't be asked for cash for clothes anymore. Well, it's never been known. For I'm not desperate for like two pound for a bag of clothes, so I'll just take them down the tip. If they're really nice ones, I'd give them to a charity shop, but they're just like crappy ones. They've never been known to be good. Well, it's never been known. Well, they've always been poor. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. What's the it's lady the driving that look? That, see um, mum? You yeah. see that lady driving that big Arctic then? That's one job I fancied doing that, is driving those big Arctics. But I would never get up and down in the cab because of my um my leg. I think that might be Jessica I just passed then. 
car and reg by the looks of it. Uh, it's her little boy's birthday tomorrow. George. Can't What's think, he doing? I think he might be seven. Um, he's having a party, I think, at the weekend. Do you like that car, look? Looks like it's an electric um, BMW. It's quite nice, that. What is it? Looks like it's iX. I wouldn't have a black car. I said we tried it once. I've had a few black cars. And it was a pain to keep clean and what have you. White cars are a pain to keep clean. Mum, we're going to Denelms. What are you on about? We're going to Tesco's here. We have to go around the roundabout again. You're not a very good navigator. You're just sitting there well, letting me go to if Tesco. I, uh, if I, uh, uh, my mouth, you'll be saying, I'm driving. Uh -uh. Well, you could have had a drive. Yeah, well, I'm driving. Sorry, we'll go around the roundabout again. Take it for a tour. Oh, that's quite nice. Oh, that's quite nice. Oh, that's quite nice. Oh, Would you like to go anywhere else? Hmm? Where are we going? To Elms. But would you like to go anywhere else? I'm gonna to nip to Tesco's because I haven't been enough this week. I was only there last night. All I want is a pair of joggers and a chicken salad. <laughs> That's a shopping list for you, isn't it? I might boil some potatoes when I get in and take them to bingo to put with my salad. Because I don't want a coleslaw because Kieran reckons that a portion of coleslaw from the bingo is about 400 calories. Who does? Kieran, who's the, um, oh, the person that, that does, does the that. groups. He said that um, you're looking at about 400 calories for a portion of coleslaw. I'd rather have a couple of Mars bars than a bloody blob of coleslaw. Yes, I don't have that. I might also boil some eggs. Well, I've got a jar of pickled eggs. I do love a pickled egg. Do you like a pickled egg, Mum, or have you not had one? Although you're not the biggest egg fan, are you? Stop biting your nails. I need to have nice nails. You're saying you're not the biggest egg fan? No. No. Right, we we'll park here. There's no blue badge spaces. Is there a mother meet, mother's meeting. Mother's meeting outside the store. Yeah, this is a handy space because it's right by the crossing, so no one can park next to me, can they? Mm -hmm. Fifty percent off. Oh God, what? I'm not gonna get out. Got loads of room for Christ's sake. You're only slim. I'll come round and hold the door for you, madam. Is that okay? Mm. Click and collect. Yeah, you can buy online and get it in the store. Oh, I see. Right, we're gonna go into Elms and Need. see what they've got. To offer mum's after a bin how exciting
guys, we're out. I put my camera on, Mum. There you go. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Yo ho. We've just come out of Danelms. I did try and film in there. Slight problem. The trolleys are tall. I'm short. My camera's on my bra strap. And I was sort of level with the trolley, so I don't know how much of that you would have seen. However, my mother's got herself a new apron. She likes the old um, little bumblebees, don't you? Mm -hmm. And she likes an apron with a pocket. So she bought herself an apron. And then I bought Warren another mug because the one I bought him yesterday um, wasn't leak proof. It was just like a cup. So we'll use that in the house. I've got him this one for work. I've had a look, it is leak proof. It's actually um, feels really good quality. Joseph Joseph is a good make. That's the make of our kitchen bin. Um, it's got a leak proof. It says leak proof screw top screw top lid. So yeah, hygienic a drink zone. So that will do him for a while in work until he says it started leaking. Um, what we're going to do now? Go to Tesco. Do you want to go in the cafe? Yeah. Yeah? What do you fancy? I don't know. I don't know. They happen to... Panini? Scampi? Scampi sounds nice, but... I think they do scampi. I might, um... I don't really want a jacket potato no, because... Oh, I was going to have a jack of potato tonight, bingo. If I didn't cook any potatoes. Um, just trying to think. Maybe we'll just go and see what they've got, shall we? Well, don't go there. Where, where, uh, there's nowhere else, is there? There's a carvery, but I don't really want to go for a carvery because. Right. Yeah, no, I don't either. I, I don't want to stuff my slipping. face. To put a bib on. See, look at the way that person. Oh, they're straightening up. I'm looking at people's parking techniques. The crap. Um, I don't want to go for a carvery because I'll stuff my face. And I've been super good this week. I'm on for a big weight loss this week. Well, have we gone to Tesco's? I just as well have a meal deal. Have a meal deal. Well, you've got that um, broccoli oh, no, quiche got got and quiche. coleslaw for your tea tonight. Yeah. See, I've made sure you're all sorted while I go out. You've got a quiche and coleslaw. I'm gonna buy my salad. There's macaroni and cheese in the fridge for Jackson. Warren's asked me to get him a chicken salad. So I just need to pick up something for the other two and they can all cook it themselves. What's a chicken right salad? What do you see at that in Oh, he likes the chicken and bacon Caesar salad you get in the meal deal. Oh, I see. So he wants just one of them. So. I will um, just pick up a couple of meals in Tesco for them. I said to Warren, I get him a pair of joggers. Kenzie keeps nicking his clothes and he's got hardly any clothes. <laughs> right, I'm off and we're gonna go to Tesco. Hi guys, we are now in Tesco's cafe. Ordered the food and as soon as I pressed the pay button, she went, oh, it's half hour wait. So we're like, great. Anyway, I have gone for jacket potato and beans. It's the safe option. Obviously the jacket potato, the beans are zero count. They don't put butter in it. I think they put butter on the side or they don't put it in. Um, so all I'll have to do is guesstimate some cheese. So yeah, and mum's having scampi and chips. So I'll let you see it when it comes. But I've gone for a good healthy option. 
so we're on track for a good weight loss on Saturday. Watch this place. Guys, our food is here. This is mine. Jug potato with beans. I've counted, um, I'll put on screen what I've counted for. I've just put Nutri-Check, um, cheddar cheese in on Nutri-Check and I've put in two tablespoons. It's not very, um, it's not a lot of cheese. So I think that will cover it. My mother's got that scampi. Yeah, so that is lunch. Guys, I have just got in and I'm just quickly boiling some eggs because we want some eggs to go with our salad. So yeah, I've put them in between hard and medium because I don't want them like bullets but I don't like them too runny when they're supposed to be hard boiled. So yeah, I'm gonna let them cook now. It's a good egg cooker this, I've only used it twice, but it's a lot better than the other one I had. So yeah. Oh, and there's a new lid coming for my new machine, but they want the other lid back, which I find bizarre. But yeah, there's a new lid on its way. Guys, my eggs are boiled. I'm nearly ready to go out, but I'm just gonna have a banana. I've got a banana to take with me, and I'm also eating one now. Keep me full until I get to bingo for some salad. Right, guys, it's actually bombing it down with rain, and I'm off to pick up Michelle. I've sorted everybody out. They all know where their food is and i've got some extras to go with my salad um thank you you let me out then um i've bought some coleslaw reduced fat coleslaw i've bought some boiled eggs for me and michelle um i've bought two little chocolate bars I've got this I put on the app earlier and I haven't eaten it yet but I think I might eat this, that on the way now uh, 167 calories for that um, what else yeah I'm gonna probably have a jacket potato and salad or I might not have the jacket I'll see how I feel when I'm there um, I bought a net of satsumas that we can munch on. We're hungry rather than on cakes. Castle Bingo do mega cakes, they're lush. They're lush. Um, I'm trying to think what else I bought. I think that was it. But you shall see, and I bought some cans. Oh no, I did bring one thing, I forgot. I picked up, yes, we are on diets, and yes, you can eat these. We've got a Krispy Kreme donut each but we've gone for the lower calorie ones um i've got the unicorn one which i think looks a bit squashed in the bag and michelle just had the most boring iced ring one um because she had less calories left than i did but i shall show you them and the calories and what i'm eating when i'm at bingo as I left, Warren said, win big. So let's hope I do. I could do with a nice big win. A nice big win. What would I do with a nice big win? to though and I've got a couple of hundred pounds. I go to the solicitors and get power of attorney for me and Warren. So I was watching something on the telly and although we are not in a situation at the moment where we can't speak for ourselves, anything could happen and it's a handy thing to have. So I said to him we should go and get that done. So that's something I'm going to look into. Oh god. I'm, um, I'm not good. Will I stay awake for bingo? Miss my number? Right. I'm going to go and get Michelle. I'm now stuck in a traffic jam, so I'll catch up with you 
uh, once I've got Michelle. Happy Michelle, when's she never not happy? I've never known that girl not to be happy. Never. Right, got Michelle now. Eat it all. She's wearing the um, right attire because it's raining. Yeah, it's minging. Like this will be inside. Yes, exactly. We haven't got to walk far in the car park, which is amazing. Look at this bell end. What a no place to park. Honestly. He's got three cars in his drive mind. Mm. Yeah, good for him. Lucky him. Yeah. Good bell end. <laughs> Oh, it's nice to have a little surprise evening out. Yeah. I was planning on this. micro mill for one and, and a quiet night tonight. Uh, I got some bits and bobs to do. Well, I thought we'd try and win some money instead. Yeah, I thought we'd win some money. That's a good idea. Mm. And to have a banging jack potato. I've even weighed my cheese. I've had one cheese. today already. Oh, I love jack potato. Have you bought cheese? I've bought my own cheese on that person. I suggested earlier, I said I might bring my own cheese, but then I'm having coleslaw instead of cheese. Yeah, I'm going to have cheese and beans. I've and got stuff. my scales in my bag, mind, if you need to weigh anything. <laughs> I've, That's they're, like extreme they're handbag fighting. scales. They're handbag scales. You've got handbag scales. I have. Oh, my God. So if I'm out somewhere and I need to know... Um, how much my roll on that weighs. Oh, that's really, that's proper. I can bang it on the scales. Look at that. That's proper cute. They don't even have any. Oh, um, that's really good. They're good ones, salter. Oh, my um, scales for the kitchen are salt ones. Oh, they're good little ones. Or if I want any sweets, oh, yeah. I can. Uh, I bought you um, jelly in case you want one. I've got 10 calorie jellies. Oh, thanks. So we've got raspberry or. Do you want a mint crumble? Oh. 19 calories per crumble. Well, I love mint anyway. What oh, is mint crumble? I'll show you. They're in my little. Um, in the snack. In the snack cupboard. <laughs> hang on, I've got to get in it. <laughs> Watch it. Oh, hang on, let me go around the corner. Oh. Yeah. Oh. On two wheels. <laughs> Just to get the mint crumbles. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm in the wrong car. Oh! oh. Really? They're not in there. You've ruined my life. <laughs> <laughs> They're in my Corsa. Do you know what we've got? I just ruined my own life. You've ruined my life today. It's the same thing. I was getting though. all excited for a mint crumble. <laughs> and I was. Oh, you have to bring me a mint I crumble. I kind of now thinking, oh, if I have three mint crumbles on the way to bingo, the 76 calories, or whatever it is, and I'm like, our little mm. thing there as well. Gary's turned into it's a snack. It's not 76 cupboard, calories, is it? 19 calories. 9, 18, 27, 37, 47. I counted 70 odd. 57 the other. calories for three. Oh, I counted as bloody 76 or something the other day for them. 57. Done myself. Oh, that's a shame. I was well looking forward to oh. one of them then. I was getting excited then. Damn. When we're oh. in the course next. We're in the course on Saturday. Oh. <laughs> in, our course, so, in our course, so we've got like a little, a little snack. Gary's got like a snack thing. And he always has loads of sweets and stuff in there. Oh. I thought we were going that way then. I was getting all excited thinking we were going to Nando's. Oh no. Oh. Someone messaged me earlier for advice on what they should choose at Nando's. Oh. Because um, they said I'm gemmed up on it and I'm thinking to myself, ain't that gemmed up? I'm so I told her, I told her to get the plain chicken, but still count the calories for chicken because you don't know what fat has been cooked in. Yes. And I said, go for the rice rather than chips. Yes. And I said, go for. Um, a broccoli and sweet corn on the side and still tell them no butter yes and she said thanks That's so maybe that must be what she's choosing that is a good shout oh good space there I always go for my fave see I always I go for the same every time at Nando's because I just love it I have lemon herb chicken lemon yeah. herb butterfly with spicy Welcome. rice broccoli and then yeah. I add on a cheeky few calories for some halloumi because mm. halloumi is like the food well, of God. I've been out today and I spotted earlier. Mackenzie rung me up and said, uh, Mum, um, am I allowed to have a go on this new sizzler you've got? And I was oh. like, Mackenzie, that's mine. Don't you touch my toys. You've got your own Mackenzie. So, I did let him know. He said, can it's I cook some halloumi? And I was like, for God's sake. Oh, so I said, yeah. I said, but you don't use metal in it. You use plastic, wooden or silicon. Yes, yeah, all right. Come so back and there's a massive scratch on it. I've 
I've come back to an unscratched sizzler. However, it's bloody filthy. I gotta wash it. Oh, oh my space. Yeah. I think so. So um, I gotta wash it, but he hasn't scratched it. I did open the lid and I went, Mackenzie, I said, you've scratched it. And he was like, where, where, where? <laughs> um, but I was like, and then my mother's like, you should have told him you couldn't use it. Oh. And I said, well, I gotta let him learn, haven't I? Yeah. Start with a ninja, but don't don't touch anything else apart from like your ninja jewel that you're not that fussed on. Oh. So Warren said to me, when we were putting them all on the shelves and that, he said to me, oh, if you die, I'm going to keep that one. He said, that's the one I like. I said, oh, right, okay. Just so you can sort yourself out. <gasps> oh, my God. What was that? I know. Thanks. He's like, he's going to be, he's already planning to be, like, sell them all off. Mm -hmm. Teaser starts in five days. Oh, shit. We better go. Are we going to go in for the teaser or are we going to stay in the car for five and then go in? I don't know. What do you want to do? Teaser's crap, though. It's, no, yeah, it's, it's only like, like 10 quid. 10, yeah. We'll stay here, isn't it? In the rain yeah have a little bit of people i watch. can't believe we were we saw each other last thursday didn't we or we were speaking last thursday because i remember saying it's only another day and we're wearing again i know these weeks are going so fast mate crazy like really really Sue's fast. birthday today oh happy birthday Sue! yeah i don't know if she's gone anywhere i've done anything what's um slim world sue 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 my Sue. Oh, your Sue. Oh, that's Sue. Happy yeah, birthday. she was from Slimming World originally. I met her through Slimming World. Glasses, Sue. Yeah, she's got glasses. You know Sue. She's got a little dog called Peggy. Yorkshire Terrier. Yes. I do know that, Sue. Hmm. I was thinking, yeah. Oh, happy birthday, Sue. I'll drop her a message on Facebook later. She keeps me saying. I haven't spoken to her for a while. Like me every day. Oh. When I go off the rails, she gets me back on them. I just let you rant at me, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Although hey, I won't yeah. rant back to me fair half the time. Are you looking forward to a Krispy Kreme? I am. Or Krispy Kreme, whatever you call I've it. I've already counted I it. I cannot believe I've gone for a, I bought a you a frigging donut and they cost that much money and you went for the cheapest, shittiest one on no, the planet. I love a glazed. Just simple glazed donut. I it's was just... like... When you said glazed donut, I was thinking to myself, you fucking really are. <laughs> I nearly I went. Did, I nearly went for the mint aero one because mint is like one of my favourite flaves. Look at all these. Look at all these. All of these. All of these she could have chosen. All of these. And I was like, nope, I haven't got enough calories left. I've got enough for the week. But I was like, I don't want to be over for today. Oh, that's fair enough. So this stone award on Saturday means more well, to me I than... Whenever I buy you a donut in the future, don't you ever pick a donut? <laughs> I will never pick a single, a boring glazed donut. No, I've gone for glazed donut, but... It's, it's, in solidarity. It's, no, it's a unicorn one, so it's got to be of icing on it. Oh. I nearly, Yours I nearly was 195 people. calories, wasn't it? 195. And mine's 290. Yeah. And I was like, oh, do I go for a unicorn one? Do I go for 300 and some odd calories for the... 290. I'm not swapping. No, I don't want it. <laughs> go half each, can we? I made Gary. No. Oh my god! On, half um, each. <laughs> no. On, on Tuesday, right? And I was in the office. I went yeah. to go. I went to Aldi, mm. no Lidl, to go shopping, and um, because I'd run out of fruit and veg. So I know I'm doing what my diet when I run out of fruit and veg halfway through the week. Mm. And got into Lidl, and I had a thing pop up on my app saying three donuts for three of their hazelnut donuts which are like Krispy Kremes I know um, for £1.50 so I was like I'll pick mm. them up for Gary and then Gary was like do you want a donut and I was like no I'm not having a donut I haven't got enough calories left what about half a donut then I said yes so he literally cut it bang in half for me and we had oh. half a donut so he, Gary's going to be the size of a house but that's fine <laughs> well, yes, I've left I've left Warren with a salad and the kids have all got microwave meal tonight I said oh, you I can know. all do it yourself you know how to use a microwave They'll be fighting over who's going first. I know. I nearly had microwave meal. I've got one of them, um, you know, your broccoli and beef and broccoli stroganoff one that you had. That was nice, but it wasn't wow. And a couple of bits of the meat were really gristly. Oh, no. Mine was a good have? one. Uh, Mine was all right. But I picked up the chicken and sweet potato katsu. 
Same make. The same make. Um, I think I saw that one. They were on yeah, offer. Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they were on offer. And there was, was like another one. Food. What was the other one? Chipotle something. Chipotle something, yeah. But I... Or pulled pork and chipotle rice or something like that. Mm. But yeah, I didn't fancy that. Not me. Because I'm a bit of a pansy with chilli. I was going to buy a fruit bowl in Tesco today, but it was nearly four quid and I thought, oh, stop that. Blimes. I bought Netta Satsumas with me. Oh, I bought them in, they were on offer in Tesco, oh, so thanks. I thought if we're hungry, we can eat them. And I've got a 10 calorie jelly and some yeah. cheese. My little 40 gram pot cheese. I need to ch check. That's a good idea though, with bringing your own cheese. Yeah. And I got as well, because when I, when I went to Costco the other week, I got a kilo bag of their Arla mozzarella that's oh, grated. Yeah. So what I did, what I've done is I've done, you know, like we do with the mince where we flatten it. Mm -hmm. I've done the same thing with the cheese. Frozen it. Frozen it. And then I put it back in the bag so I know which cheese it is that I've got and got the barcode if I need it in um, 100 gram bags. And then I just weighed, weighed them a bit out. Thawed it out lunchtime and weighed a bit out. Should have put it all in in 40 gram portions. Oh no, that's a lot of faffing. My mum used to do that with her cereal. Yeah. She'd weigh out however many grams she wanted out the whole box and then put little bags back in. A porridge oats, I think she used to oh, do yeah. it with. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm hoping I get my stone this week now. What do you need for your stone? Pound and a half. Oh, I thought it was two and a half you needed. No, you need half. a pound and a half. Yeah. So you need a pound and a half for your stone and I need eight and a half pound for my stone. <laughs> <laughs> Go to Will bed, we do get it? Your feet up. Um, You've got at least a stone in your feet. Do you know, I'm not far off it this week. I had a cheeky way. Oh. Mm. I haven't had a cheeky way. Yeah, I did have a cheeky way earlier on in the week. Um, let's see how I go. I have cut back right down on a few days on my calories this week, though. Yeah, I was over on Saturday because I was out the choir. And yes. I had Burger King. Yesterday I, I used more. Day before, last three days I've used more. Yeah. But the other days I've been on like less than 500. Yeah, Sunday I only had like 460 calories or something like that. Because, because I was pulling back from Saturday. Yeah. But I wanted to keep being under each day. So I've, I've still I've still pulled back at the minute. I'm over a thousand, no, 1100 calories are under for the week. The thing is, we need to um, get used to that because eventually we'll be on 500. Yeah. Which some people are on already. Yeah. Uh, oh. I've tried going down to 750. It's just all about making better choices. Exactly. What you pick is what you pick. Everything in moderation. And what you pick for your meals. You've got to, well, if you're on 500, you've basically got to make your meals zero, haven't you? Yeah, pretty much. And then you've got calories left for, for treats then, haven't you? Yeah. Right, yeah. we're going to go in and find a table and get our lucky boards. Oh, yes. So, we'll see you in there. See you in there. Bye. Bye. Right, we're in Bingo now, and we've decided um, to sit where, we've sit, where we're sitting, where we sitting, because they're nice posh chairs. Yeah. Look where I am. Right opposite the cake stand. So right opposite the cake stand. So they'll be winking at me all night, because I will not be having one. No, I won't. So this is what I have gone for, a small salad, I've had a jacket potato on the side and I bought my own cold floor and then we've got eggs, Michelle's got a salad and cheese. Snakes in my cheese! Happy with that! <laughs> so yeah, on it! We're out of bingo. We're out of bingo. And did we win? Did no. not. Did we? Oh. We got to one number six bloody times this time. Yes. One that should maybe you want to beat number. that bit, but I was a bit frustrated to say the least. And me. And everyone won one around us as well, which annoyed I know. me. So cheeky. How dare they? Nice couple of hours out though. Yes. Bit of a catch up. Nice couple of hours out. Now Michelle's off to the pub. I'm going to the pub to pick my car up. <laughs> he wouldn't appreciate you going in for a drink then. No, he's not there. Oh, where is he then? He's playing pool away tonight. So he's up the Royal Oak. I think he'll win it. So where's the car? In Hawthorne. 
Someone's so, taken him from there. Though. Yeah, so they do a, like a mini bus for the team. Ah, right. Yeah, so he, he's on his way back up to, or well, he's up in Gorilla Play. Twenty miles along here, isn't it? So she puts it down. <laughs> Anyhow, it's, I know 20 is good. It feels really slow along here though. I know, but it's good because it's obviously saving lives and all that. But Jesus, 20 mile an hour is slow. There's some roads that it shouldn't be 20 on. Like this one, I don't think it should be 20 on. Mm -hmm. Apart from the bit by the school. Yeah, yeah. But other than that, I don't think it should be a 20. I used to bring the kids um, swimming up here. Oh. Swimming lessons. I went swimming down here a few times, but I'm not a massive fan of this pool. I like the Lido. Oh, no, that's my fave. I've never been. I love it. I need to go back. I'm going to have to go home now and see what destruction the kids have done. <laughs> There's two doors now they've bust. Little buggers. Had lovely new solid wooden doors put downstairs. And two of them have been bust. They are lovely. It does look lush though. The door itself's not bust, it's just the handle. Yeah. Next time I come up, I'll have to see your kitchen. Yeah. Super gadgets. Yes. Sneak a ninja out. Like a ninja. We should come up for a waffle. Yes. I'm definitely up for waffles. We're going, going, going for breakfast date on Saturday anyway, aren't we? Here we are. Yes. Right, well, I don't know where my car is in the car seat. Here. Yeah. Yeah. I should be able to get in the car. Waffle dates. And you want to go wait for us, don't you? Maybe if we've got time. If you haven't got time, don't worry. Let's see. Right, where's your car? Is that it there? No, it's too dark. There yeah, it is down there. I've just flashed it. Oh, yeah, that was you? Yeah. Oh, that was a good idea. Yeah. Well done, Mavis. Surprise, my car. There it is. And Michelle's going to hobble to her car now because she's got bad knee. Yeah, my good knees started cracking and popping. Oh, God. Anyone got any tips on cracking and popping your good knees? Let me know. Uh. Be wonderful. Thanks. Right, that's good. They've got three charges there. Yeah. Except I haven't got an electric car, so it's no good for me. That'd be good. If you did, though, you could come and charge it down here. Good day. Car's down here pretty much every weekend, anyway. Mm. <laughs> right. Right, you right, right. I'll see you later. And I'm clocking off because that's me done. I'm not having anything else to eat. I'm going home, and that is that. It's nearly could 10 o'clock. Sorry about it being dark. I know it annoys some people, but it is night time. It is night time. And we we're in the car. Got a Let's put a bit of light on. Ta da! Maybe that's worse. <laughs> right. I shall see you tomorrow. And you shall see I'll Michelle. I'll see you Saturday. Saturday. To see how I get on.